Hello, this is Anna Raimondi coming to you from Connecticut. Welcome to Mystical Mondays. Today, I want to talk about getting deeper into your spiritual journey, how to approach your spiritual journey. I, I get a lot of questions about, am I on my journey? Am I on my path? Well, here's some indications and things you can do to help you as you begin or continue on that journey. Remember, this is a very personal and unique endeavor. Everyone's spiritual journey is a bit different for them. So what I'm talking about are a lot of general things that may apply to you. Often they do apply across the board and it will help you as you, um, you continue through. Just remember that part of your spiritual journey is also raising your vibration. The higher your vibration, the easier it is to feel and acknowledge that you are on your spiritual path. The first thing you need to look at is yourself, your own beliefs. What got you there? You know, it doesn't mean you need to analyze each one. You know, I'm an advocate for feeling. What feels good to you? You know, not just based upon how you were raised, but what feels to you right now as something spiritually that resonates within your soul, what your values are, what your desires are. Do you place your spirituality before anything else, your relationship with God, the universe, or whatever you believe in, is that prominent in your life? Because it cannot be on the bottom. This is how your soul connects. Your soul is what helps you connect to your spirituality and whatever it is that is around you. It is your humanness that sometimes gets in the way you know, love of money, love of um, consumption, you know, um, you know, love of power. That kind of thing can get in the way and also gets in the way of compassion. Compassion's a big one for moving into your spirituality and moving on your spiritual journey. Not only compassion for other people, but compassion for yourself. From compassion comes peace, peace within yourself, peace among other people, acceptance that we're all individuals, less judgment, no prejudice, kind of step back. And that also will help you release anger and move into a place where you are more at home with yourself and more at home with the universe. Keep in mind, God is an energy of love. And when we allow ourselves to love other people and be compassionate, not only to them, but to ourselves, we are in union with that energy of love. Our lives are very, very busy. We go here, we go there, we're like gerbils on a wheel. We all need that time of stillness, a time when we can just sit and let ourselves feel you know, we're so afraid of feeling. We're so afraid of being alone. Don't be afraid because you're not doing this alone. You're doing this with the help of all that is good in the universe. You're doing this with the help of heaven. You may want to educate yourself to things that you're drawn to. Spiritual texts, spiritual writings. There's so much out there right now. You know, pick and choose. What resonates with you? So if you have a friend who tells you, this is a wonderful spiritual book, why don't you read it? And you pick it up and you think, oh, this is, I don't get this at all. This is not working for you. Then put it down. Read what fills your soul. If it's reading the Bible, read the Bible. If it's reading a book written by a popular modern spiritual author, read that. Keep in mind, there's a difference between religion and spirituality, but it's up to you to, you know, make that distinction. It's up to you to figure out whether 
you want to continue your fear, your spiritual journey as something deep inside without a religion, that's fine. If you choose to do it with a religion, that's fine too. No judgment, as long as it's your spiritual journey. You might want to seek help, you know, on this. You know, there's tons of people these days who are healers. Um, there's people who are doing all sorts of things in the spiritual realm. And if you feel you want to speak to someone around that, speak to them. Go to retreats. Go to things that call to you. Have sessions with, with healers. Do what you feel is right and good for you. It's really, really wonderful to spend time in nature. You can see the power of God in nature. You know, wake up early in the morning and just sit outside or take a walk at dusk or take a trip to the mountains or the ocean and feel how majestic those places are. Be in the now. Practice mindfulness. Don't take anything for granted and count your blessings, all of them. Listen to your intuition. It will tell you what is right and what is wrong. You all have it, that gut feeling. Listen to it. Let it point you in the right directions. Challenge your beliefs. I took a class in college once, and um, the professor was a priest, actually. And he, um, he, saying the, he said the closest thing to true spirituality is doubting your belief system because it will take you in circles back to what you believe in or what you believe in now. Challenge yourself. Open yourself up to whatever is in front of you. Really important to keep a journal. A journal that you write about what you believe in, what you see, what you know, how you feel. Again, I'm back to feeling how you feel, how practicing meditation makes you feel inside. This is a journey of not only spirituality, but a journey of self. And your self includes your, your soul. Limit the negativity. Be positive. That's not saying being ridiculous, but it is saying look at things in a positive way. Look at yourself in a positive way. Look at your spiritual journey in a positive way as you fill yourself with love and love around you. If you can travel, travel. See things from a new perspective, from a new lens. We are all one in the universe. Doing some kind of ritual also helps, whether it's lighting a candle at night, meditating at a certain time during the day, reciting affirmations, whatever, whatever it may be, bring some kind of ritual into your life that helps you refocus. Really good at the end of a day to do something that helps you refocus. Stay open mind, stay open minded to all things around you. Because as you go along your spiritual journey, the universe, God, the angels will bring you things to help you along the way. Little bits of enlightenment, but you have to, you have to recognize them. And a spiritual journey also involves commitment. Staying on that journey, staying with it, catching yourself when you see yourself going in a wrong way. Now, I said wrong way. That's your perception. Okay. It's really off the path because there is no right or wrong. You're doing this. You're doing, you're doing this following your heart and recognize that you're following your heart. And listen to your heart. It's a wonderful journey. Explore, be light, follow your soul, 
and follow the wonderful energies around you that will help you get to where you're going. On my next episode, I will talk about the dark night of the soul. When we're on that spiritual journey and it begins to feel dry. So stay tuned. In the interim, God bless. And I will see you soon on Mystical Mondays.